Hi friends and welcome to a new video. As you have probably guessed, this video is going to be all about men's makeup. Makeup in the 21st century has evolved to become so much more diverse and so much more fun. It's not something that's just limited to women nowadays because more and more brands are increasingly looking to target men. You may wonder, why are more and more brands looking to target men? It's actually pretty simple because us men actually do care about how we look. With that in mind, I'm ready to commit fully to this culture of male beauty. And that is why I'll be spending $200 in Sephora. The goal is pretty straightforward. I want a simple everyday makeup look that I can wear when I'm hanging out with my friends, going out to drink, shopping, and other normal activities. Also, I don't want to make it too obvious that I'm wearing makeup, so it needs to look pretty natural on my face. More importantly, I need to feel cute when I'm wearing the makeup. It needs to make me feel more confident about myself. I'm also looking for a few different kinds of products. First, I want a primer that will make my pores appear smaller because your girl has large ass pores, okay? Like, she needs to cover them up. Secondly, we want a foundation that matches my skin tone. As much as possible, maybe I may not be able to find a perfect match, but I just want like a good match anyway. Third, I want loose powder to be able to set the makeup so that it will last for a much longer time. I don't want it to be like gone after three hours when I touch my face. And finally, I need makeup tools that I might need to put everything together. Because I'm pretty much a makeup noob, I've enlisted the help of one of my close friends, Nicole. We're gonna be hanging out together and she's going to give me second opinions, help me film a little bit, and basically just let me know if I look like trash. With that, we headed to the Sephora flagship store in Iron Orchard, Singapore. I couldn't help but feel overwhelmed at the number of options available to me. It soon became pretty clear that I needed professional help. Oh. <laughs> I was terrified to do it, but I mustered up the courage to approach one of the beauty advisors in Sephora. Supposedly, they're always ready to help you out if you're ever in a pinch, and I was definitely in a pinch and therefore needed help. <laughs> the beauty advisor helped me narrow down my choices of different products, and she even helped me out to apply everything on my face and see how they would look. Oh, it's all my shine is gone. From her recommendations, I managed to get a few products that I feel really satisfied with. Everything looked great on my face, but I knew I needed to go home and try everything out on my own and without help. Alright, so we're now back home with all our products. Uh, everything totaled to be about $218. It's a little bit over budget, but I'm going to call it a win anyway. So with everything that I have here, I'm going to begin the process of looking freaking beautiful. Beauty community, watch out! There's a new bad bitch in town. That's right, it's me. Okay, so the first product that we got is the Benefit Pore Primer. And I got like the travel size version, like the mini one, because like the bigger ones are so much more expensive. Like, girl, makeup is so pricey. <sighs> this little tube is $23. Like, oh, makeup. When I tried it out in the store, the beauty advisor told me to just put it at like my big pore areas, which is normally my cheeks. I'm gonna be applying it on my face. Oh my god, I'm actually really excited to do this shit. I'm just ready to be beautiful. Gotta wipe away all my sweat because we are a wet hole. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, oh my god, I keep saying okay because I'm so nervous. Okay, we're not gonna be putting like a big, big amount. We're just gonna, you know, we're not gonna commit that heavily yet. <laughs> Put it at the area where I have large pores. Ooh, it's so smooth. <gasps> it feels so smooth on my face. Am I beautiful yet? Batman Rock, where are you at? Where are my all my beauty sponsors? My pores definitely feel more filled up. Like, mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more blurred. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? So the next product that we have is the Ultra HD Liquid Foundation by Makeup Forever. Okay, now this is... This feels so much better than holding the stupid Benefit Primer. Look at the size difference, okay? Like, bigger is better. That's... That's a reality of life that we all need to accept. Okay. Just to kind of like... <clears throat> To apply this on my face, I'll be using something that I am so excited to try out, which is basically dun 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 dun, the Beauty Blender. I have seen this so many times being used by so many of my favorite beauty YouTubers. Shh. Ah. As I've said earlier, I'll be using the Beauty Blender 
to apply the foundation on my face. Okay, wait, we're gonna open, oh wait, okay, okay. there's a, uh, there's tape. I need to get rid of the tape first. Okay. Ah! No. So in order to be able to use this, I need to wet it first. Like, we're not a dumb bitch in this household, okay? We know to wet beauty blenders. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking a glass of water and I'm just gonna dump the entire beauty blender inside. I'm just gonna squeeze it when it's inside too so you have more water in. Oh look, it increased in size. Oh my god, it's so much bigger. Look at it. See? Size matters. Just to get rid of all the excess water, I'll be squeezing it again. Ew, the water kind of changed color. That's kind of nasty. But okay, I accept. Ta da! And we now have a fully formed beauty blender. I think you use this side. Or is it this side? Using my extensive experience watching Jeffree Star makeup videos, I am going to assume that it's gonna be this side that I'll be applying on my face. So we're gonna have like a little. <coughs> and try to shake it first. Okay, I'm gonna shake it. Wait, it's not working out. Okay, I'm just gonna pump. Ooh. Okay, there's foundation on my thingy now. I'm just gonna bounce. Okay, cool. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. I can build up the coverage as according to what like the beauty advisor in Sephora told me I could do. Mm, okay. Um, all my redness is disappearing. I am a cocoon that is about to become a butterfly. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so excited because my face is looking so much better. Like, my skin tone is so much more even. Ooh, okay, like one, two pumps seems to be enough to like cover my face. Like, uh, one of the goals is to make it more natural, right? So I'm not gonna go too overboard. I'm just gonna be satisfied with this layer. Okay, cool. I am, I think I'm done with foundation. Now that my foundation is done, I'm going to be setting everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. From the Beauty Advisor in Sephora, she kind of like said that this is like the best setting powder that they have. Rice. <laughs> Just gonna put a bit in the cap. That's what I saw her do. Is that too much? I think it's enough. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be using the same beauty blender. Just gonna dip it in. Okay, cool. The Sephora Beauty Advisor told me to put the loose powder on areas on my face that gets really oily. And that's my T-zone and my cheeks. So let's do my best. Okay. Oh no, wait, I shouldn't use the camera. Okay, I should do this. Oh my God, I look like a crack addict. I think I put too much. Oh my god, you see that? Like, when I just like put it at first, it was like a big chunk. But once I spread it, it does like, you know, blend out nicely. Oh my god, it's so exciting. I'm gonna put a bit more powder. You know? I'm gonna take the powder, put a bit more. I'm gonna just lightly dab it on my face. Now, for my cheeks, I'm going to be applying the powder using this Kabuki brush. This is the Sephora brand one. Eh, just gotta open it. I like the name as well. It's kind of funny, like Kabuki. Okay, yo, I got it! Just gonna take the Kabuki brush, swirl it around. That feels right, and then lightly... Wait, oh no, I should. I have a mirror for a reason. Going over my cheekbone. Okay. I'm gonna leave it for a little while and then dust them all off later. I think I'm done baking, so I'm gonna be getting rid of like the excess powder. Like, do you see that on my nose? I'm just gonna use the kabuki brush and kind of like dust it off. Okay, 
I'm happy to note that I'm pretty good at dusting off the powder from my face. It must be my Filipino jeans that are helping me out to be a good cleaner. I, I think I'm done. It's not as exciting as learning like how to do intense eye makeup, but to me, this is like an achievement. I feel better, I feel so much more confident. I look good, I feel good, and I think this was all completely worth it. This is so much better from the time in Polytechnic where I tried to buy BB cream and then it didn't really oxidize, so my face just looked white the entire way. And my friends laughed at me for that, and from then on, I never really bothered with makeup anymore because I was too ashamed. But, bitch, look at this character development. Look, oh, oh, redness, where you at? Okay, thank you so much for watching this video and if you stick around all the way till the end watching me get excited over trying on a basic ass face of makeup thanks <laughs> i wonder how it would feel like to like contour and shit maybe that's like a video for another time if you like this video just like it at the bottom thumbs up and i'm gonna be producing more shit like this that makes me happy so if you find found this funny or if you enjoyed it just subscribe for more. I'll be making videos every two weeks. Yeah. Subscribe. Oh my god, I look so good! Ah!